Welcome to this week's edition of Rochelle's Daily Wire, video edition. I am Bill Rochelle, the editor-at-large for American Bankruptcy Institute. Today we are coming to you from the ABI Museum of Modern Art. And this week we're going to talk about swaps and in particular flip clauses in swaps. And you may ask, well, exactly what is that? That issue is very important in the bankruptcy of Lehman Brothers that's now about 10 years old. Lehman, when it filed bankruptcy, was a party to thousands of swap transactions. In the ordinary termination or maturity of a swap, the collateral being held by a trustee for the swap participants would give the collateral to Lehman. If, however, Lehman were the defaulting party the flip clause would kick in and flip around the distribution priorities, giving the collateral instead to the note holders under these swap agreements. That meant potentially a loss of tens or hundreds of millions of dollars for Lehman and its creditors. Now then, let's flash back to the years 2010 and 2011. At the time, bankruptcy judge James Peck was in charge of the Lehman bankruptcies, and in a pair of decisions, Judge Peck decided that the flip clauses were a violation of the ipso facto provisions in sections 363, 365, and 541 of the Bankruptcy Code. In elaborate decisions, he also decided that the safe harbor in section 560 for swaps did not apply. Well, Judge Peck left the bench and bankruptcy judge Shelley Chapman took over the Lehman bankruptcies, but all of the flip litigation had not been resolved. Although Judge Peck had held one way, Judge Chapman in 2016 held the other way. And Judge Chapman decided that the flip clauses were enforceable in view of the safe harbor in Section 560. That section, in, in essence, provides that nothing in the bankruptcy code shall uh, prevent a swap participant from enforcing the liquidation provisions in a swap agreement. While Judge Peck's decision did not go up on appeal, that by Judge Chapman did. And in an opinion on the 14th of March, District Judge Lorna Schoenfeld in New York upheld Judge Chapman and in a really rather simple opinion, said that the plain language of the safe harbor in Section 560 allows the swap participants to enforce the flip clause. That means big losses for Lehman, and as a result, it will not surprise me in the least if Lehman doesn't appeal. However, don't hold your breath, because the Second Circuit has traditionally made very broad interpretations of the various safe harbors in the bankruptcy code, and it will not surprise me in the least if the Second Circuit upheld Judges Chapman and Schoenfeld. Well, that's all we have for today for Rochelle's Daily Wire video edition. We'll be back at the same time next week to talk about something else that has of importance happened in the world of bankruptcy. Till then, thank you and good day.